One of the things that I hear the most after I give a talk or someone reads one of my books is, that's great, but my boss won't let me. I'd love to do something like that, but my boss won't let me. Well, of course she won't. Because what you're saying to her is, I want to do something really cool and really neat, and if it works, I'll get the credit, but if it doesn't, you'll get the blame because you said it was okay. Who would take that deal? <laughs> and that, in fact, what we see is that the people who have jobs or who have clients who are making a dent in the universe are doing it by leading the people who are ostensibly in charge to make better decisions, leading those people to have better taste, leading those people to have the guts to do the work that they're capable of doing. And so, no, you are not in charge. But in fact, nobody is in charge if you want to look at it that way, right? That even the President of the United States can blame the people who won't vote for his bills in the Senate or the House. No one is ostensibly in charge. But it's so easy for us to say, my boss won't let me, when what we're really saying is, no one gave me an effective place to hide. That we all grew up in an industrial world, in an industrial economy, a place where we were trained from the time we were three to do what we were told. That they invented public school the industrialists of the world, because they needed more workers. And what they needed from workers are people who were willing to sit still for 10 hours, use a number two pencil, and follow instructions. That's what we were indoctrinated to do. That's how you got an A in third grade, and that's how you got into a famous college. Right? And so it's deep within us to want to do that and to let the boss tell us what to do. But we just changed all the rules, and that's not the option anymore.